There is a once popular legend that the fearsome Celtic warrior queen, Boudicca, is buried under one of London's best-known railway stations. This video will explore the likelihood of the scourge of the Romans being interred under King's Cross Station. But first, who was Boudicca? Boudicca was a formidable Celtic queen who played a pivotal role in ancient Britain's resistance against Roman conquest during the first century AD. The chariot-riding would-be royal was what we might term the Queen of the Iceni, a Celtic tribe located in what is now known as East Anglia in England. Around AD 60 or 61, after the death of her husband, King Prasatagus, Boudicca found herself thrust into the cutthroat world of Roman politics. According to historical accounts, the Romans disregarded King Prasatagus's will, which designated his daughters as co-heirs alongside the Roman Emperor Nero. Instead, Roman officials seized control, looted the tribe's riches, and subjected Boudicca and her daughters to humiliation and abuse. I won't go into details, but you probably get the picture. Enraged by Roman mistreatment and the violation of her people's rights, Boudicca resolved to fight back. She united several British tribes, including the Iceni, Trinovantes and others, rallying warriors to her side to challenge Roman authority. Boudicca emerged as a symbol of defiance and resistance, galvanising widespread support for a rebellion that aimed to expel the Roman occupiers from Britain. Boudicca's rebellion quickly gained momentum, fuelled by grievances against Roman oppression and exploitation. Her forces, estimated to have numbered in the tens of thousands, launched devastating attacks on Roman settlements and military outposts across the region. One of the most notable targets was Camelodunum, modern-day Colchester, a Roman colony and a symbol of Roman power in Britain. Boudicca's forces unleashed hell as they razed the city to the ground, exacting revenge and sending shockwaves throughout the Roman administration. The Roman governor at the time, Gaius Suetonius Paulinus, faced a formidable challenge in quelling the rebellion. He prioritised securing strategic positions and gathering loyal Roman legions to confront Boudicca's forces. In addition to burning London, Boudicca also targeted Verulamium, modern-day St Albans. The settlement was an important administrative and commercial centre in Roman Britain. The attack on Verulamium was characterised by fierce fighting, looting and widespread destruction. Historical accounts describe the sacking of Verulamium as a brutal and chaotic event. The city was set ablaze, buildings were destroyed and inhabitants were either killed or forced to flee. The rebels seized valuable resources including food, weapons and riches, further bolstering their cause and fueling the momentum of the rebellion. The Romans were caught by surprise by the rebellion and were initially stretched as a significant force was deployed crushing the Druids of Anglesey, then known as Mona. It is believed Druidic authorities backed the rebellion. Fresh from subjugating the Celtic priestly class, the Roman response to Boudicca's revolt could begin, and when it did, it was bad news for the Queen. The two sides clashed in a decisive set piece, often referred to as the Battle of Watling Street. It was fought in AD 61 and marked a turning point in the war. Despite her previous successes and the determination of her warriors, Boudicca's forces were ultimately outmatched by the disciplined Roman legions led by Paulinus. The occupiers deployed superior military tactics, including their use of armour, weaponry and formation, which proved decisive in the battle against the energetic but disorganised Celts. The outcome of the Battle of Watling Street was a devastating defeat for Boudicca's rebellion. Thousands of Celtic warriors were killed, and Boudicca herself fled the field. Rather than submitting to Roman capture and potential further humiliation, Boudicca is believed to have taken her own life, choosing death over surrender to the Romans. While Boudicca's rebellion ultimately failed to drive the Romans out of Britain, her legacy endures as a symbol of resistance, courage and the fight for freedom. Her story has been immortalised in historical accounts, folklore and later interpretations, inspiring generations to honour her memory and the spirit of defiance she embodied. In modern times, Boudicca's statue stands in London, ironically one of the cities she put to the torch. Despite Boudicca's near success and the destabilising effect of the havoc she wrought, the young Emperor Nero showed deft diplomatic skill in bringing the restive province firmly back under Roman control. Some fascinating items were seen at the British Museum's Nero exhibition a couple of years ago, from the Iceni destruction at Camelodunum, with the violently slashed jawbone of a Roman legionary on display. 
And there were chains, too, which were used for the forced labour the Roman regime inflicted on Boudicca's possible allies on the Druid stronghold of Mona. After Boudicca's lightning raids on London, Camelodunum, now Colchester, and Verulamium, now St Albans, Nero moved quickly to rebuild the trade centre of Londinium, institute reforms, and install it as the administrative capital of the province. With the rebellion ruthlessly put down, he instituted a more emollient governor of the province to reduce tension among the conquered population. By the time the Romans left Britannia, in 410 AD, the Celtic tribe south of Hadrian's Wall had become almost entirely Romanized, with the upper classes enjoying all the trappings of imperial finery and being known as Romano-Britons. For them, Boudicca's revolt was a long-forgotten relic of a more restive age. An age that would return when the Anglo-Saxons arrived, according to legend, to quell Pictish raids from the north, but they ended up taking over themselves and pushing the Celtic Britons to the western fringes of what is now Wales and Cornwall. But that's another story. So, is there any credence to be attached to the legend that the Iceni Queen was buried at the site of what would become King's Cross Station? Well, the theory is based on a book called Bodicea, Warrior Queen of the Britons, written in 1937 by folklorist Lewis Spence. It argued that Boudicca, also known as Bodicea, fought her last battle against the Romans at the site of the modern-day rail hub. The book even included a map showing the supposed positions of the opposing armies. While Spence never suggested that Boudicca was buried at the site, it became a popular tale in post-war blitz-battered Britain, as myths of homegrown resistance to foreign invasion were very much in vogue for obvious reasons. It gained currency because the site was once known as Battle Bridge, and because of the discovery of some remains of Roman soldiery in the area. This was based on an earlier work by John Nelson called History of Islington, published in 1811. The book includes the first known suggestion that the area was known as Battle Bridge because of Boudicca's final battle against the Roman occupiers. There is, perhaps unfortunately, as you can't help but want these things to be true, no archaeological evidence for the claim that Boudicca lies beneath the station. But that has not stopped people believing in the legend. And, as tourists queue up to pretend to board the Hogwarts Express and join Harry Potter at the nearby installation of Platform 9 and 3 quarters, one wonders how many of them realise the tale of the legendary warrior queen who might just be interred a few feet away under Platform 10. But that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share and most importantly subscribe. And you can also support the channel on Subscribestar via the link in the description or via YouTube Super Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.